Look before you drink refreshing spring water. It's fashionable to walk around sipping on a 50 cent bottle of spring water. I was drinking spring water 30 years before the national craze began, and it was free. July 1976, we moved into an old restored farmhouse on 80 acres at Legtown. The road was dirt and at first barely passable. There was no phone line. A dug well on a hill behind the house was the only source of water for our home, a tenant house, and a barn where we kept horses and livestock. Before moving in, I hired a fella to go down into the well and clean it out. He hauled out old pots, pans, tin cans, bottles, and such, and we washed the inside walls with Clorox. I was confident of plenty of clean water. A few weeks after we'd moved in, I departed for a camping trip to the Colorado Rockies. It was hot and dry in North Alabama, and I was glad to escape the heat for cool, high mountain meadows. When I returned home 10 days later, my wife was in a foul mood. The well was bone dry. She'd been hauling water for both houses and the livestock since I'd departed. I called Mutt Adams a well driller. Do you want it witched? He asked. What do you think? Well, some folks swear by it, he said. I use an old fellow from Ardmore and he never misses finding water. It cost only $12, so I agreed. When I arrived home from work that afternoon, Mud had been drilling all day under an apple tree and was blowing limestone dust from a dry hole. He scratched his head, confounded that the well witcher hadn't found water. I borrowed a shovel from him and walked down to a hollow behind the house where there'd once been a whiskey still. I figured where there was whiskey making, there had to be water. I dug deep into the damp bank and soon a small stream of water was gushing forth. I paid Mutt, he covered the dry hole under the apple tree with a rock and departed. I hired someone to build a concrete reservoir to collect the spring water. He dropped a submersible pump inside and I had plenty of water. I kept a gourd at the spring and often walked down to dip out a soothing drink. Ah yes, there's nothing like drinking good old limestone spring water made by Mother Nature herself. I was happy and content with my spring water. Then my friend William Pepper came to visit. He wanted to see my spring. He walked down to the hollow where I lifted the top of the reservoir so he could see inside. He peered down into the water. How long has that salamander been living in there? He asked. Never since I built it. Why? He was thoughtful for a moment. Does he climb out for a BM? That had never crossed my mind. Afterwards, I never took a drink of my spring water without imagining that salamander headed to the corner of the reservoir with a roll of toilet paper and a Sports Illustrated. Nowadays, I never drink bottled spring water without first holding it up to the light and looking for salamander droppings. <laughs> and I'd advise you to do the same. <laughs>